it's another beautiful day here in Steamboat, Colorado. And today's daily inspiring community event is here at the Mountaintop Brewery where they are holding a yoga class. We're gonna go check it out and see what this is all about. Last time I was in a brewery was with the ukulele jam and it ended up being a great experience. So let's hope it's the same here. And sunny, just kidding, snowy Steamboat, Colorado. What does that yoga actually, actually mean? You know, I mean, there's so many different interpretations. It's a religion, it's a science, it's a this or it's a that, but um, it's still, none of it's really resonating with me because I do think it's an individual thing. And I like, I just want to know before we all practice together, if anybody wants to um, answer, say your name, and what yoga is to you. Like, what do you think it's about? I think that yoga is actually helping us connect to that essence of who we truly are. I love that. Anybody else? What's yoga to you? Well, my name is Kat, and I am really drawn to movement in general. And no matter how non-active you think it is, I think it's really active, and that breath brings all of it to life. And I think that's what's really most interesting and effective for my day-to-day My name is Marie, um, and yoga to me is just uh, a practice of becoming more present with your body. There are so many things in this world that um, bring us out of the present moment, so many things that we want, and so many things that we feel or think about or worry about that bring us out of the present moment. Yoga to me helps me kind of get back in my body and be back um, with my practice, with myself, with the people around me. That's what it is for me. <laughs> I'm Frost. And as far as what yoga means to me, yoga to me is all about the communities that we are part of. They, it seems like everywhere I, I go, there's a different energy or a different rhythm for every place that you are. And I think that's bringing people together to figure out what rhythm they want to get in tune with through the instructor that kind of leads in those movements. And then through that, you gain your mindfulness. It's when you're meditating by yourself, obviously that's about you. But every time I've done yoga, it's been with other people. And for me, that's been about community. Well, I am Talaya again, and I've also been thinking about this question. And yesterday, I was on, it was the first day on the ski mountain, you know, and there's a lot of snow, there's poor visibility, and I'm on my skis, and I'm on whiteout, and um, I am like, okay, well, yoga, what is yoga right now? Like, if I, like, I, I'm really, I, I feel like I understand it when I get on my mat, and I'm, I can really get into it, and I can get really get into the flow, and um, I was like, how can I bring that connection right here on my skis? Like, not make it about, like, I'm going into this idea where it's challenging, or it's this, or it's that, and I'm showing it show up, like, it's a challenging turn. And then I'm noticing, oh my gosh, I'm not even breathing. And then I'm noticing, like, I'm just so aware hyper aware of how like freaking scared I am that that's actually what's happening to me I'm like in real time and then it hit me like wow yoga really is everything it is how I show up on my skis it is how I view the mountain that I'm about to go down and it is how I can connect my breath like wow so maybe if I connect my breath with turning right now like really move slow in it let's see what happens and so I was like inhale stand up and exhale squat down and turn and you know and I found this buoyancy with the mountain that wasn't there before and I felt like I was in yoga I was hyper aware of what was going on and I felt like wow that was yoga and so now for me it's like yoga it really literally is everything it's our community it's everything you guys said it's that connection to self it's learning about it ourselves for me this is my what yoga is for me it is the community aspect the hyper connection with like right now like wow we're practicing with new people we're in a yoga we're in a, our yoga studio is a brewery and all of these different things and even just being aware of that and how we perceive that are we going to maybe feel like oh it's in a different place I'm a little bit more uncomfortable but where's the place you are most comfortable doing yoga where is the place that you are most you feel most alive and can we bring that to our mats to our skis to conversations to um, you know even how we eat our food it's just the connections that we all have together you know they show up everywhere and uh, and I, just, I love when you can kind of take a funny view on them and how we can bring yoga this practice off of our mat into every little thing what we do with that practice some yoga on our mats 
in the Mountain Tap Brewery with some music that my daughter's gonna whoop, put on. <laughs> So why do you throw these events? What's the most inspiring reason that you will do this every week on Sunday? Um, because I love yoga and I love that. So I worked in a studio for a long time and um, what I found is that from teaching these classes, the people that you get here in these classes don't go to the studio. And um, like I get people doing yoga in their jeans. Really? And I just, and for me yoga- We had me in long pants. Yeah. I mean, I was struggling. It was yeah. like, mm. Yoga then I thought I was just supposed to um, breathe and I wouldn't be shaking so much. <laughs> <laughs> yoga is for everyone. It's for absolutely everyone. And it can be done anywhere. And when we keep it to the studio, then you have put limitations. You know, I have to be able to pay that fee. I have to be able to pay this to do this, to put it in a place where it's so community. One, it's approachable. Right. People are like, ooh, even for guys especially, like, oh, I get to, well, I get to have beer. It was, like, so, it was to... great motivation. I was ready to, like, I can stretch for only so long. And I <laughs> as long as I get my beer. <laughs> but all of a sudden, and then the other aspect that I love about it is the social aspect. You go to a yoga class, you leave, and you're rushing out to be somewhere. You have to put on your clothes, you go out, and then all of a sudden you've got to go to your job or whatever, and you're, you're open. You've just tapped into something, you are open, and then you, there's no one to talk to. You just go. But what I found is, is walking around and um, after yoga class in a brewery where all of a sudden it's social, you're having a beer, people are in this state of kind of like the runner's high, you know, and they start to build this community, they start to talk to people, they start to realize that they're just like, you're just like me, I'm just like you. And the conversations, it's not how's the weather, People drop into these really amazing, deep conversations. And so I walk around with a grin on my face, like yoga is medicine. And when we can provide these atmospheres and these occasions for people to come together, get together, do some down dogs, stick their butts in the air, <laughs> and then drink some beer, it kind of sounds kind of cheesy and it's super simple, but people connect. And for me, yoga is about connection, it's about building community, it's about showing that we are actually all the same. And that doesn't just happen in a yoga room, it happens in the grocery store, it happens in the bar, it happens everywhere you go. And so when you can start bringing yoga into these places where we go every day, it makes it normal. And we could all do it, and then all of a sudden we're all, I don't know, more open, and, and we share things we don't normally share with people. And, and you know what makes you different than every other yoga teacher I've ever been with? Is that basically when you start your class, you're inviting other people to actually talk. Whereas every other yoga class is like, shh, don't talk, yeah. don't talk. But you want people to open up and Absolutely. like say, what does yoga mean to you? Yeah. Why are you here? Why are you and then give them permission after the class. It's so funny, permission. It's like such an interesting thing. You could have permission to talk to other people. They do that in church too. They're like, hey, stay after and meet the congregation. Socialize. Talk to someone you don't know. They give you permission. And so many people I feel like need permission to go and meet people. You don't need permission, just go and talk to somebody. When you come to a yoga class, you reinforce that permission. It's yeah. like, go and have a good time and go meet somebody new. And build your community and keep building your community and keep building your community. And that's really all that I want to do. I yeah. This is the life that I live. I choose it. I wake up in it every day. And so I'm going to be a proponent and um, a spokesperson almost to keep building this, to keep bringing it to places where people wouldn't normally take it, you know, because I want it. I want to drink beer and do yoga. I want that too. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> and I'm so honored to have met you. This has been awesome. Thank you Thank so you. much for sharing. Thanks for coming. I, I feel the same way. I am like, I just learned so much. Yeah. I really. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Another great agile party. You can throw one in your community too. All you got to do, do is just do it. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.